hear a wide variety of K-pop genres from 4 to 6 o'clock p.m. every day with myself, Sam Carter, on Super K-pop. Hello guys, welcome back to Super K-Pop for part 2 of the show. Uh, let me tell you once again how you can tune in. First, log on to adidangradio.com and click on the on-air button. Second, you can download the Adidang Radio app on your smartphone to listen, and that's free for both Android and iPhone. Third, if you're in Jeju Island, turn your radio dials to 88.7 MHz in the Jeju area. 88.1 MHz in the Sogipo area and 101.9 MHz in the Taejung area. Fourth, you can also tune in through TDMB Adidang Radio. But no matter how you're tuning in, please do log on to adidangradio.com and leave us your stories, request songs, answers to our quizzes and your questions for me and my guests on the Super K-Pop message board. You can also listen to Adidang Radio through TuneIn. That's an online radio service site with 40 million users worldwide. And you can download TuneIn through Google Play or the App Store. Now, in case you missed the quiz in part one, let me give it to you one last time. Listen carefully. Rookie Group April has released their first single album title song. Now, the title uses the word that is used to describe the sound people make when they give a kiss. What is the title of the song? Is it A, Chu, B, Moi, or is it C, U? Get your answers written on the message board. Log on to adidangradio.com. We'll be announcing the winners on that message board, so please do check that out. And if you get the answer right, I'll be giving away signed CDs of VIX. So be sure to get your answers in on our message board. We have a message from Cho Soyan from Korea writing in, It's snowing a lot, and it just makes me style, smile just by looking at the snowfall. So beautiful. I tried drawing some animation stuff, and the result was not that bad. So happy to do something different. Uh, trying something different helps me feel good nowadays. Anyways, hope you have a nice Thursday. Soyan, thank you very much. Um, it al is always good to do something different, I reckon. Uh, very refreshing. Thank you very much for your message. Ming Xuan writes in, you're talking about snow, and uh, I'm so jealous. It's been constantly raining in Singapore, which I hope could turn into snow. Anyways, I just found out that it takes 13 hours from London to Singapore because my favourite uh, YouTubers from London had just landed in Singapore this morning. It's a pity I had an event this weekend because I really wanted to attend the Young Creators Workshop. Um, anyway, Sam, if you were in London now, would you be preparing for Christmas, like shopping for Christmas trees and Christmas decorations? Ming Shred, yes, I would be. Uh, it's a very big deal. I'd be sending out Christmas cards, helping out my mum probably, going to my parents' house, helping them put up um, Christmas decorations and things like that. Um, in Korea, yeah, it's not such a big deal. I don't know. Maybe um, I haven't really thought about what to do for Christmas, but uh, I will be having a think about it soon. Thank you, Mishwen, for writing in. Right, uh, Fly to Love, Let's Love will be happening in just a moment, but we'll play another song. This is B.I.G.'s Taola. i 
say they don't understand women uh, it's not because of different psychologies but it's the way that women phrase their words we just all speak differently uh, we're going to be talking about love having some fun love personality tests as well aren't we john yes we are john hello man i'm perfect how are you yeah i'm yeah. I'm, I'm good how, how's your week been what have you what have you been doing uh, very snowy and cold it is cold yes so it's getting very cold so what is the first thing that you want in cold weather in cold weather, uh, the first thing I want um, is a coffee. Oh, okay. And 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 a big hug. Oh yeah, I was going for that one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I, oh, I want a big hug. Yeah, yeah. Um, human contact. Mmm. Human <laughs> contact. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> All right, give me some of that human contact. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, we started oh, yeah. already. We started already. <laughs> Nice. Um, yeah, so, uh, well, yeah, very, very snowy, very cold. In Germany, though, it, does, it snows a lot in Germany. Right? It really depends on the area. Like, where I grew up, it didn't snow that much. Mm. But if you go, like, to places like Berlin, for example, in Berlin, it can get really, really cold. Like, yeah. really cold. Like, Korea winter two years ago, maybe. I re still remember that winter. Oh, that was freezing. Yeah, because I remember my ears w were falling off. Oh my goodness! Yeah, that, it was it was terrible. It was that very was cold. That was a nasty one. Yeah, yeah. But I reckon it's going to be colder this winter. It's going to be oh. crazy. Oh my god! But it was a very mild summer, so I'm not sure. Possibly, we'll, yeah, we'll let's see. see. Let's see. Hopefully it won't be too cold. Uh, cool, so we're talking about love, guys. We want you to send in your messages. Um, so today we have um, two prizes. Uh, twice signed CD and a Sam and John video message. That is, of course, the big prize. Yeah. That's the best one, of course. So, um, yeah, please do send in your messages and all of your questions. Um, we are going to be doing um, a personality quiz, a personality twist. Uh, twist? A test. Twist. A twist. I mix <laughs> quiz and twist. Um, yes, but we'll also wait for all of your messages concerning your love life. If you have any concerns, mm. let us know about that. Um, so, yeah, um, John. Why don't we why don't we just start with the, the love personality test? With the test. Let's no. throw it out. Let's start with the twist. The All twist. right. Okay, so it goes like this. It's a comfortable weekend. You look out the window and you see a very beautiful woman across the street. She's looking at something. But what? Me. <laughs> oh. oh, you wish, bro. You I wish. wish. I wish. You wish, bro. In my dreams. Uh -huh. In my dreams. Not with that hat. Not with that grandpa <laughs> hat. <laughs> you gotta go shopping again for her to look at you, man. Oh, dude, this I've gone red. Is there something wrong with my grandpa hat? Let me know, guys. If this is um um if it puts you off. Oh, uh, I got a great you. idea. Mm. If you want, ha uh, if you want Sam to wear a Christmas Santa Claus hat for oh, the next couple of weeks, <laughs> we send in your messages now. Oh my goodness! I don't even have one. So I'm gonna buy you one. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> oh goodness me! So, all right. So back to the twist. Um, the twist. Yes. She's looking at something, but what? 
A. She's saying goodbye to her significant other on their way out. Mm. B. She's waiting for her significant other to come home. Mm. C. She's just looking around, enjoying the view. Mm. D. She's looking at her neighbor's house, not your house. Okay, not my house, <laughs> not my house. Um, okay, interesting. So, um, we want you to send in what you think would be uh, the right um, the right answer for you. So, please let us know. And, uh, yeah, so A, she's saying goodbye to a significant other. Uh, she's waiting for a significant other to come home. She's just looking around. Or D, she's looking at her neighbour's house. Interesting. Mm -hmm. um, John, what do you reckon you would go for? Well, I think um, she's waiting for a significant other to come home. Since she's, she's like a super hot girl and like standing outside mm. it's cold now it's winter it's a mm. comfortable weekend mm. yeah th she doesn't go out and look at other people's houses and like mm. you know hot girls don't do that they yeah. like get everything coming their way yeah, yeah that's true so you're picking b b she's waiting for her significant other mm -hmm. for me i don't want her to have a significant other that will make me very sad oh. <laughs> so i'll go for c she's just looking around enjoying the view i refuse to accept that she's seeing anyone <laughs> so i'll go c she's just looking around enjoying the view please do send in your answers to that and we'll reveal what answer means what personality uh, later on uh, please do send in your messages about uh, maybe any love troubles or any thoughts that you're having on love and you want uh, my advice or John's advice. Mm -hmm. um, John is, of course, a love expert. Real customer advice. He yes. Are you long rate? It's, it's proper advice, <laughs> and he's a he's very he's a real experienced man when it comes to love. Oh, love, love, love. Yes, love, 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 love. love. Anyways, <laughs> uh, and also yes, remember we're giving away a twice signed CD and a Sam and John video message as well. Um, all right, before we uh, move on, how about we just read out some messages? Now I've got a fun one here from Julia from uh, from Deutschland. Oh, from Germany, Julia. Yes, mm. uh, Julia. Is that how you pronounce it? That's how you pronounce it. Julia Beischer. Huh? Beischer. Julia Beischer. Uh, Julia Beischer. Beischer. Mm. Beischer. Okay. You once said that you study French and German, Sam. So let's have a fun. Let's have some fun with languages. Here are some commonly used German phrases which I translated to English. Let's make this into a quiz for John. All right. So All right. Um, I'm going to give you the kind of the English, which is not really. It doesn't really make sense in English. Okay. But you have to say it in German. Oh, so it's like literally translated. It's the literal translation. All okay. right. All right. So the first one. I think I spider. Ich glaube ich spinne. Oh, okay. That's right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Second one, that's sausage to me. That is me a wurst. Ah, good one. You, you thought about yeah, it. Yeah, thought I about to think about it. Okay, peace, joy, pancake. Friede, Freude, Eierkuchen. Ah, okay. Um, I just understand train station. Ich verstehe nur Bahnhof. Ah, very good. Oh, yeah. The last one, to make it 100%, do you have a bird? Ah, uh, hast du einen Vogel? Yeah. Uh, I, yeah. Don't, okay, I don't understand what... Why, why that sausage to me? That means nothing. Oh, um, that is me worst. Uh, that means sausage to me, or that is sausage to me. That, that means, means uh, I really don't care about this. Uh, are you serious? Yeah. That means I don't care. So if I say you are a sausage to me, then I say that means you I don't, don't care, pretty much. So I don't care is that is me worst. That is me worst. That is me worst. Yeah. Okay. okay, nice. Brilliant. <laughs> Julie, oh, I've learned something. Brilliant. So, today. so you know, so you know that uh, German people really like their sausages. They do like, like sausages. That even appears in the, their common sayings, you know. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Julia, thank you very much for your message. Um, do you have a message? I do. I have one from Shin Lei from Singapore. Mm -hmm. uh, she says, how come all the opas I know seem to know each other? Ha ah, uh, John, I'm so jelly. You went to Brian's house. Oh, wait. How? How does she know I went to oh. How do you know I went to Brian's house? Brian, as in Brian from Flight to the Brian Sky. Brian too, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. I just was there like a couple of days ago. Okay. Oh my god, like, that's, this is scary. <laughs> there must have been something uploaded. Oh yeah, probably. I'm assuming. Was it really super duper clean? Actually, yes, it was. <laughs> his dogs are so cute. They are. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, he's got three dogs. So. Um, wow. I miss Brian a lot. He has, it has been three years since I saw him in Singapore. Any thoughts of visiting Singapore? I'll bring you around. Not. Lol. I get you lost in three seconds. Oh, come on there. I have zero sense of direction. Ah, oh my god. Chile. Go on, honey. You, can, you cannot. You cannot. Oh, like, 
like, you know, lure me into Singapore and tell me you're going to lose me in three seconds. That's not going to help. I don't understand the end of the message. <laughs> Have a great day ahead. Stay warm. Yup. Sam, you too. Don't catch a cold. Wax. Okay, so... I don't know what wax means, but... Wax. Okay. Wax to you Kiss, too. Kisses, I think. Um, okay. Wow, thank you. Um... I don't know what the point of the message. Okay, I come to Singapore basically. Yeah, but like not really because if she, was, mm. if I'm gonna come to Singapore, I get lost. Yeah, that's not, that's not oh. good. Come and on. I cannot do this amazing show with the amazing co-host exactly. who's gonna wear a Christmas hat if you send in your messages. Don't send in your messages, guys. <laughs> don't send them in. Uh, that was from Chile. Thank you very much for your message. Yeah, hopefully we can go to Singapore sometime soon and get lost. Uh, before we read out some other messages and before we reveal the um, love personality test answers. Uh, let's play another song. This is Lovely Hair by Surong and Yunpomi of A Pink. song we um threw out our love personality test john would you like to remind us about what the question was yes the question was it's a comfortable weekend you look out the window and you see a very very beautiful woman across the street mm. she's looking at something but what is it sam what is this thing i don't know i wish it was me but um uh -huh. uh, what are the potential answers then the potential answers are a she's saying goodbye to her significant other on the way out mm. b she's waiting for her significant other to come home c she's just looking around enjoying the view d she's looking at her neighbor's house interesting okay so um you've sent in your answers so thank you very much everybody for 
participating. Mm -hmm. um, um, I picked C. She's just looking around, enjoying the view. And John, what did you pick? I picked B. She's waiting for a significant other to come home. She seems since uh, she's like a hot girl. Interesting. She is. And um, we had um, we had one person go for A. She's um, saying goodbye to her significant other on the way out. That's Shane from the Philippines. Um, we had. Uh, did we have any Bs? Yes, we have two Bs. We have one from Xinlei, Singapore, and one from Ming Xuan from also Singapore. Oh, by the way, Ming Xuan says, <laughs> Your grandpa hat is fine, Sam, but I would love uh, to see Sam wearing a Santa hat, and it would be great that John wears it too. You have to buy two then. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah. What did I do? Next week, too. That yeah. was not to debate. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Uh, cool, thank you for that. So, um, uh, but the most popular was actually my choice, C. Oh, no. um, she's looking around enjoying the view. We had loads. So Nadia from Australia, Hannah from Germany, we had Alexandra from Romania, Hinden from Indonesia, we had Shreya from Bangladesh, uh, we had uh, Le Nok from Vietnam, we had Jenny from the USA. Um, so that proved to be very, very popular. Thank you very much for sending in your answers. Um, so, what do the answers mean, John? I'm, I'm dying to know. All right, so A, she's saying goodbye to her significant other on the way out. Okay. That means you're in a rough spot with your love right now, and so you are getting more distant. Mm -hmm. You may be thinking to yourself that you don't want to go any deeper into this relationship with that particular person. Interesting, okay. So we had one answer for that so maybe you're going through a tough time we mm. don't know mm. okay b all right b is she's waiting for a significant other to come home you're in cloud nine right mm. now with your love 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 it's almost like you're in a romantic fairy tale wow mm. you would do anything for that person john that is that i wonder if that's accurate for you yeah, uh, actually, I've not been telling you something uh, to you guys. Yeah. Sam! <laughs> God, the man for me! <laughs> You're on cloud nine. I'm on cloud nine. Studio. Yes, yes. Nice. That's why everything is red here. And it is red. I had them painted red for you. It's a love concept. Thanks, man. <laughs> I appreciate it. Uh, cool. We have um, C. She's so just looking around enjoying the view. What does that mean? It means you want to make your significant other happy. You don't mm -hmm. feel responsible only for the happiness, but sadness as well. You can think about your love is maturing wow oh, all right yeah okay very grown-up stuff yeah okay mm -hmm. and d and d means she's looking at her neighbor's house your significant other is working so much that it makes uh, it's making you impatient it's unfortunate that their love is not fully being expressed towards you it's almost like it's a one-sided love interesting interesting mm -hmm. so um let us know if you thought that was accurate because um yeah, I don't know actually. I don't know if it's accurate. I mean, of course, I would want to make my significant other happy. But is it is it for you? Like, do, do you think uh, your love is maturing? Uh, my love. Well, I I have to. I, I I don't know actually. I don't know. I don't do know. Do you do you have like a love that is maturing? Do I have a love that is maturing? And pizza doesn't count. Pizza. Oh. <laughs> maturing pizza mm. um, yeah I don't know I think as I get older I can imagine my love would be more mature but I don't know mm. I, can't, I can't really say for sure yeah mm. but but I, I probably would go for jajangmyeon yeah <laughs> my love for jajangmyeon is maturing black like, noodles yeah mm. black noodles oh tasty. yeah oh, so tasty all right then, well, uh, yeah, please do let us know if you thought that was accurate, guys. Uh, please do send in just any questions to do with love. Maybe you have some concerns about um, your love life or any questions about love that you want to ask or get uh, my advice or John's advice. Please do send in all of your messages. And uh, remember, we're giving out um, a prize. It's going to be a twice signed CD and also um, a Sam and John video message. So please do keep your messages coming in. Let's continue with some other messages that we have. Mark from Germany writes in, uh, my favorite German word is uh, Schadenfreude. <laughs> yes, because there are no translations in any other language. Yeah. So uh, Mark says it means a feeling of pleasure or satisfaction when something bad happens to someone else. Yeah. Is that right? It's right. It means um, pleasure out of the misfortune of others. Ah, so if, for example, if you see someone fall over, yeah, I laugh. You'd be like, <laughs> "That's Schadenfreude." That's Schadenfreude. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Mm. And it's only available in the German language. Get yours now. Yeah. No, I, I was just. There is no English for this. I just realised. Yeah, but you actually use it in English as well, right? Like you, everybody in England pretty much knows that word. Really? Yeah. You don't. Oh, there was this amazing uh, musical, Avenue Q. Ah, yeah, yeah. and they had song, they had even a song about it yeah, called Shadow right. Freud. I, I saw Avenue Q actually. Yeah, I always wanted out. to watch it, I never watched it, just downloaded, uh, I just bought the, um, the mm. uh, soundtrack. 
Interesting, yeah. interesting. Schadenfreude. Uh, thank you, Mark, for sending in your message. What else do we have? Mm, we have another one from uh, Shin Rei. Oh, okay, one more. Mm -hmm. uh, John, I miss you so much. It's been so long since you were here, right? Actually, it's been one week, right? <laughs> yes, it's been but, one week. But, Too uh, long. Yeah, but thank you. Um, I try to come back more often yes, for you. That would be nice. All right. uh, Shreya from Bangladesh. Um, oh, okay, so I, I said earlier, my, my dad used to call me Pumpkin when I was a baby. No! Yeah, so... Um, pumpkin! Yeah, so, <laughs> Salba, is it okay if I call you Pumpkin too? Shreya, I don't know, that is a bit weird, right, maybe? Um, but, um, anyways, John, do you have any nicknames like this? If you don't, um, what should I give you one? Uh, firstly, is the, is the question. Alright, um, I do have a nickname when I was uh, 15. Mm. Uh, my mates, they called me... A nickname. I'm not sure if I should say it here. It, or it, not. Can you say it on on? The oh yeah, I can. okay, yeah, okay, yeah, that's I can. good. I can. What, what was the nickname? It was Uncle Joe. <laughs> Uncle Joe. Why was it Uncle Joe? I don't know. That's that's. Is there no reason for that? No reason. They just like somebody started saying, "Yo, Uncle Joe." And okay. since that day, I was Uncle Joe. You were Uncle Joe. Oh, well, it's quite. It's not bad. Pumpkin Sam. And Pump, quite, yeah, pumpkin. I know. Sammy. Pumpkin oh, Sammy. Way too cute. Oh, my oh. goodness. Um, also, <laughs> Shreya Weissen, do you remember that you made an alarm ringtone? I must say, it helps me get up early. John's German sounds really scary. And Sam's <laughs> laugh is very cute. Oh, it has a, it has the laugh in there as well. Yeah, yeah. I have, what was wake up in German again? Aufwachen. <laughs> that was the message. Aufwachen. <laughs> Steh auf. <laughs> Shreya. <laughs> All right, so we it. got one more actually oh. again from Shinle, sorry, uh, from Singapore. Mm. John, sorry, but could you adjust the mic so it doesn't block your handsome, handsome face? Ah. Oh, waves, waves miss you so much, Wax. All right, Wax. Uh, wait, there you are. Can we see your face? Can we? S it's difficult. It's difficult. I don't know. There we go. You can see his eyes. There you are. There you are. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, all right, then we'll read out some more of your messages. Remember, keep on sending your messages through with love. If you have any concerns about your love life or anything like that, we'll give you some advice. Uh, we're giving away a twice signed CD and a Sam and John video message, so please keep your messages coming in. Uh, the next song is by Kim Pil. This is Marry Me. <laughs>
Okay, so we've been talking about love. I asked you to send in your messages and questions for us to do with love. If you have any concerns or just need advice um, about love, please do keep your messages coming in. Uh, we're giving away a twice signed CD and a Sam and John video message um, to someone. Uh, let's start again with Nadia from Australia who writes in, um, okay, dates. I'm at that age where I need to have dates to find someone significant. The thing is, I don't know where to start. Which places to go to find the significant one? Um, any flirting advice that doesn't really want to be um, a hook-up night? Interesting. Okay, Nadia. So uh, she basically wants to know where to start in terms of dating. She's not. She wants to find someone that she really likes. How should she go about it? I think John should answer this. <laughs> oh no, John is John. John has, knows How, way more than me. Like I should. I should answer how you should start yeah so she's a girl yeah she wants to find someone what what should she do to find that someone like what can she do do you reckon go to the pet store <laughs> go to the pet store <laughs> <laughs> or to the flower store i don't know watch mm. how I met your mother you know there's like barney he's always having like a trillion of yeah. options how to uh, meet um uh people from mm. the other gender. That's true. Um, yeah, so maybe check out How I Met Your Mother or go to your local pet store right now. Okay, mm. and just wait there until a man appears. Yeah, yes. And the thing is, actually, if you're a girl, you don't have to do that much, I mm. think. Not as much as a, a guy would have to do. Okay, well, right? she also talks about flirting. Like, how much should she do? How little should she do? Oh. What do you reckon? This is tough. Oh, it really depends how you want to be perceived by the other person yeah. and what you want out of the relationship, I think. Mm. Mm. I think it's okay to give little hints of flirting, but you don't want to give away too much because guys at the same time, you know, yeah. they, they, I don't know, they don't want it to be too easy to talk to. Yeah, and you also need, like, several sides. I think you, to mm. you, you cannot only be, like, the, let's, let's call it the librarian. Right, mm. like guys, guys like smart girls, of course, you know. But if you only like smart, and that gets a little bit dull after a while, I think. Mm -hmm. So keep it interesting, keep it like creative and stuff. Yeah, be creative, Nadia, mm -hmm. basically, and I'm sure you'll find that significant one. Thank you very much. Uh, do you have a message? Yes, I do. From Jenny from the US and A. Mm. Sam and John, I have a question about Valentine's Day. How significant is Valentine's Day in a relationship? I personally do not like the holiday, as I believe it's a hallmark holiday, and I just don't understand why you need one day to be able to express mm. your love mm. for your significant other. Mm. How come people cannot do it every day or once in a while? Mm. I got called out by my friends for not liking it because I had a boyfriend at the time. What are your opinions? Yeah, see, I tried to explain this to, to some of my previous girlfriends, and they all did not accept that at all. Really? But yeah, they wanted they wanted to do something for Valentine's Day. But actually, I like Valentine's Day. Yeah, I think it's I yeah. think it's all I think it's I think it's all right. It's a pretty thing. I mean, it's not important, but mm. like I think it's just nice. It's like Christmas, mm. you know. It's a good chance. It's just an excuse and a good chance to show, you know, yeah. each other how much you mean. I think. I think. It, I don't think there's anything bad about it. No, I don't think it's. Of course, it's commercialized and whatever. But that's the world we live in. It's uh, just a capitalistic world. What can you do, right? Mm. But um, still, same with Christmas and same with Easter and whatever, mm. right? So um, I think Valentine's Day is just one of these days. But like, if you really enjoy, it, just go for it. Why not? You know? Mm. Yeah. If you're not doing anyone any harm, I think it's fine. Oh yeah. Um, okay, so we have Hanny from Malaysia. Hello boys, this is quite embarrassing, but here's my story. I have a lot of boy classmates, and normally I'm just doing fine in class, but since last September, suddenly this one guy stood out in my eyes. Uh, he's a bad guy, he's charming, tall, loud voice, he's a bit of a maker, and strangely lately he always sits beside me. Now I just can't, I don't know why he sits next to me, I'm blushing, what is this feeling? I really hope he won't sit next to me, because I really can't focus in class. Help me, what should I do? I think that's a clear case of a crush. He is in love. He wants you. Yeah. 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 Why, He's a bad why, guy. why would he sit next to you if well Maybe she's really good at studying and like she he's like peeking over. Do you reckon? <laughs> Maybe that could be a reason. Maybe. But I don't I don't know, like um Is this a case of like a good girl liking a bad guy? There's loads of cases like that. Yeah, it's like See? the bad boy image. Yeah. The rough um, guy, tough guy. Absolutely. Mm. There is there is a lot of that, honey. Um I don't know. What what should what should she do? Should she talk to this guy or I don't know, it depends. 
if you think it's a crush or if you think that you really like the guy a lot, then just know. be careful. Since you already said like he's kind of a bad guy, yeah, you should be careful at what you do. I, I would also, yeah, I would uh, uh, agree with that, honey. Be careful, but um, yeah, no, no harm in just uh, having conversations and communication. Oh yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. It's all, it's all good, honey. Thank mm. you very much. Get a waffle for that. Get, get some waffles together. Mm -hmm. That might be good. Mm -hmm. Cool. And we got another one from Shane Isabella Oreto from Philippines. Mm. Question: I want to ask on how to know that, uh, uh, how to know whether you're in love or if it's just a crush, mm. because my twin sister said she has a crush. But I think she's in love already. The difference between a crush and love, that's difficult. What do you think, Sam? I think you only can know this with age, but um, I think when you're really young, in my opinion, um, you think it's love at the time, but you're too immature to really know what love is, in my opinion. Yeah, but I think also it's a definition. So it's a question of, of definition. So um, maybe it's just me being too German again. But like, uh, if you have a crush on someone, mm. you're actually not in a relationship with that person. You're just like you know admiring mm. from afar because that's mm. what a crush is, right? Like that's if true. I say, okay, I got a crush on on Jessica from uh, from Sonia Shide, who still <laughs> still did not call me. I'm getting very angry, Jessica. Uh, All right. Uh, I'm only waiting so for so long. <laughs> All right. Anyhow, um, so mm. I think it's a crush when like it's not a personal relationship and you're just like admiring from afar. But mm. if you're in love, you are obviously in a relationship. You know the other person really well because mm. you know them personally and you actually have like a constant contact yeah. thing going on. That's interesting. Actually, I think this is quite a good debate. Mm. Difference between a crush and, and love. Maybe you guys can send in some messages to do with that. We'll do some more messages in a bit, guys. But we'll play another song. Uh, this is by quite a lot of artists. This is Sarada Softly by K Will Sister, Boyfriend, Mad Clown, Chongi Go, Chuyang, Monster X, Yusungu, Brother Sue, and Xi. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, we're reading out your messages to do with love, all of your concerns, and we're answering your questions um, about love. We're giving away a twice signed CD and um, a Sam and John video message. Oh yeah, to some lucky winners. So I'll start again. So Nadia from Australia, we've got some feedback. Uh, the Pet Store, I might try it. And How I Met Your Mother, I really missed that series. I think I should watch it again. Anyways, right. thanks for answering. Right. So, yeah. Best show ever. It's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. And Best Nadia show. loves your advice. So oh, good one. Well done, John. All right. Cool. And we got another one from the amazing Yuna Goye. Just Yuna. All right. Okay. <laughs> Just Yuna from the Netherlands. So the subject is <laughs> question mark. Hello, Sam and John. Your message was <laughs> was hilarious. I was showing my friend Super K-pop, and she just turned in at your message of <laughs> so she literally asked me, "What are you listening to?" You guys, you guys made my day, especially the laugh of Sam afterwards. I actually forgot what I wanted to type in my essay. Anyways, I hope both of you have a nice day. Thank you, Yuna. Thanks. Oh, thank you very much. Okay, we okay. We need to get some more advice very quickly. Alicia from the USA. What do you think are the requirements to date someone? I was telling my brother how I have a guy friend who shares the same interests as me in Korean entertainment. I can talk about anything with him and who would love to be more than friends with me. My brother asked why I wasn't dating him. I told my brother my friend has some self-image and esteem issues and insecurities he needs to work on before he'd be a good partner in a relationship. But my brother doesn't understand. My brother thinks since there aren't many guys into Korean entertainment, I should just date my friend. Ooh. That's interesting. So Fair enough. you have a lot in common, uh, but you think that the guy has a few issues that he needs to sort out. So do you think it's important to sort those issues out before they go out, or I don't know? Like it's a little bit of a tough one, right? I mean, like if she really thinks um, the issues are that severe, mm. then she should probably wait. But like if mm. you think you can just like you know overcome them together with uh, mm. with uh, him, then why not just go for it, right? Absolutely, it's yeah. it's a tricky one actually. It depends on how, it depends on how kind of bad those issues are. Yeah, are you how sad he is in his life and mm. how sad you are in your life, mm. right? Mm. But maybe think about helping him out with those issues together yeah. and seeing how that goes, Alicia. And he might really like it. Absolutely, well. yeah. Thank you very much for that. Hope we helped. All right. So we got another one by Alexandra Giano from Romania. Mm. John Sam, I was wondering, in your opinion, what should a girl never do on the first day so the guy keep uh, keeps his interest in her? I mean, what turns guys off? She should never pick her nose. <laughs> that would be terrible. That would be pretty oh, yeah. terrible. Yeah. Picking the nose. Um, what else? Oh, she should be. She should be. Uh, have like table manners. Like, yeah. you know, be a good eater. I had that once. I was once on a date. That's like ages ago, maybe mm. three years ago, two years mm. ago. And I was on a date and we were like eating, um, I think it was like some chicken or something. Mm. And oh my God, after I saw how she eats, <laughs> I was out of there. I was like, sayonara.